The concert was on for barely 20 minutes, when in the middle of their song, Kiss the Devil, the Eagles of Death Metal, were interrupted by shots of Kalashnikov rifles. Blinded by the light, the rock band members couldn't see much, but they heard everything and quickly understood what was happening. They then threw their instruments and took refuge outside by a back door. From there, they headed to the nearest police station. And drummer Julian Dorio borrowed a phone to contact his family in Atlanta. It is 11.30 p.m. right before midnight in Paris. This is the first news we have regarding the Californian group. For several hours, it was not known if all members had left the place safe and sound. Earlier, at 9.44 p.m., on the group's official Facebook page, a message appeared saying, We are still currently trying to determine the safety and whereabouts of all our band and crew. Our thoughts are with all of the people involved in this tragic situation. Shortly before midnight, the Washington Post published an article on the group. The mother of one of the band members had contacted the newspaper saying that the Eagles of Death were alive and safe, while her daughter-in-law confirmed that the musicians were in a police station near the Bataclan, as previously stated by Julian Dorio. In the aftermath of the attack, the group is in shock. One of their technicians died in the attack. The decision is taken. Their European tour that was supposed to continue until December the 10th is canceled and their return to the United States was immediate.